Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video is going to show you how you can play your own videos from a USB device with no tricky commands to type in, no ADB shell, no unlocking on Fire OS 6. That's a 4K Fire TV stick. More details coming up. So first of all, I should say that anything you've got on this USB will be wiped. So make sure if there's anything important on there, make sure you've got a backup copy of it now. And the USB device that you're plugging into it can only have a maximum capacity of two terabytes. That's because it's gonna be formatted to FAT32. And unfortunately, FAT32 has that hard limit of two terabytes that a Fire Stick will only recognize. So you won't be able to format it any larger than two terabytes. Even if you find some software that can format it to a larger capacity on your PC, unfortunately, the Fire TV stick or Cube just will not recognize it if it's above two terabytes. Also, you're going to need an OTG cable. Now you can get one of these from Amazon. See the link in the description below to get one of these first. So this guide is gonna show you how you can do this for people running Fire OS 6. That is usually the 4K Fire Stick. If you want to check to see what version of the Fire OS you're running, then go across to settings there, go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go into about, and then there you go. You'll see there under software version, just in the middle there, it will say Fire OS, and it'll give you a version number. And mine is 6.2.9.4 at the moment. So that is Fire OS 6. Press the back button a few times to go back to the main menu. Let's just go across to find, and then down to search, middle button. And what we want to search for is VLC. That's V for Victor, L for Lima, C for Charlie. And after you've typed that in, you should see underneath the on-screen keyboard, VLC media player should appear. Go down to that, highlight it, middle button. And then what you're looking for is you're looking for this orange and white traffic cone. Highlight it, middle button, and then middle button again to start installing it when this screen comes up. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection. And if it's the first app that you've ever installed, you might see this, you've got an app. So middle button on the remote control. There you go, it's now downloading. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And then once it's finished downloading, it will start installing. And once you, you know it's installed, it will say open or done where installing currently is, there you go, mine says open. Now what I want you to do is, first of all, is to plug your USB into the OTG cable. So let's plug it in. Okay, so if you get this come up, that says USB storage problem, the inserted USB drive has an incompatible file system to continue, Fire TV Stick 4K must format your drive to FAT32. And it says, warning, this will erase all data on your USB drive. Now, if you see this, then just go across to format USB drive there on the left, make sure that's highlighted in white, middle button, and then, okay, you get a confirmation here. So again, it says warning, all the data on the USB drive will be erased. So anything on the drive will be lost. So make sure that there's nothing important on here. Press the left button, highlight format USB drive, middle button, and there we go. It says format in USB drive. And here we go, it says your USB drive is ready to use. So then what you wanna do is you wanna plug your USB device into your computer and copy your videos across to it. Then come back, plug it back into the OTG cable, which should be connected to the Fire TV stick and power supply. And then what you wanna do is we wanna go into VLC Media Player. So find the picture of the house, the home button on your remote control, press and hold it until this screen appears, then let go, go across to apps, middle button on the remote, and then go down to the traffic cone there, middle button. And then what you'll get is you'll get this welcome to VLC. So press the middle button on the remote control. Now this is very, very, very important. Make sure that you've got allow highlighted there. If you deny access, 
access to photos, media and files on your device, then this isn't going to work. So make sure that allow is highlighted. Once it's highlighted, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again and then middle button once more. And then hopefully you should see this come up. New external storage detected. Do you want VLC to add device and it will be something like the general USB drive to your media library. Make sure that yes is in white. Once it is, middle button on the remote control, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna start scanning the USB drive for any videos that are on there. This might take a bit of time, and there you go, it's actually found some. So if I go there across to videos there, you can see there is an A to Z listing of all the videos that I've got on my external drive, which I can just go ahead and play. I can pick any one of these, highlight it, middle button, and it will start playing. Now, unfortunately, I've had to blur this out for legal reasons. It's playing directly from the USB stick that I've got. Now, what happens if you've got no internet connection? Now, obviously, this might be a time when you wanna play your own videos. If you've got, not got an internet connection, this screen here just wouldn't be available. It will say home screen unavailable. So how do you open VLC Media Player? Now the best thing to do is just go across to the settings cog just over on the right, because that will still be there. Go down and across to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications, middle button, and just find VLC player in this list. Should be near the bottom or right at the bottom. Once you see it, highlight it, middle button on the remote, and then go down to launch application, middle button, and that will launch VLC media player, and you'll be able to play your own videos from your USB device. So there you go, a great simple way with no tricky commands of being able to watch your own videos from a USB stick on a Fire TV stick running Fire OS 6. Hope this video helps, and if it did, why not stick around, have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, Make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.